In today's High Watt Soundbite, we're talking about power in your studio. Well, in today's session, I want to share some ideas on power in your studio. We're talking about AC power here, electricity. This is such an important topic, yet one that is overlooked so easily. So I want to share with you how you can literally isolate your studio from the local power grid. Why? Because everything you do from that day forward will sound remarkably better. So can you tell I love talking about electricity? Well, it's Tech Room Friday, so let's jump into a session and geek out on some power. So if you're anything like me, I mean, we can very easily take for granted the power that enters our homes and studios. I mean, really, when you're not talking about the subject we're on today, if you're just being a consumer, then, then really, how often do you think about power? It's like, you don't really think about it unless it's off for some reason. And for the most part, as a consumer, that's all you really need to know is pay, pay your bill and make sure the power stays on. For those of you that are serious about music production and audio engineering, we have to take a closer look at the AC in our studios. On any given day, the power that's entering our studios can fluctuate radically. I'm talking, you know, over and under voltages, brownouts, surges, interference, just to name a few things that can be wrong with the power. And here's the kicker. Everyone on the grid is contributing to that chaos. So when peak times go up and down for energy consumption, it, it just has radical effects on what happens in your own home. So there are a ton of power conditioning products on the market today. Some of them do a pretty good job of filtering some of the noise and stuff that can be introduced on an AC line. Today, what I want to focus on is a very specific type of UPS, and I'm referring to an uninterruptible power supply. The type of UPS we're talking about is a true online UPS, also known as a double conversion UPS. This type of UPS has an incredibly cool feature in its operation, and it'll change your world. Let me explain. So the UPS that you find at your local office supply store, it is almost certainly going to be an offline UPS, or, or what's considered a standby UPS. In an offline UPS, they function by filtering the AC that's coming in from the, from the utility, from the wall, and essentially passing it directly to the equipment that's attached to your UPS. And it monitors the incoming AC at all times. Like I say, it's doing that bit of filtering on the front. And if it detects any kind of issue or a power outage, then there's an actual mechanical relay in the circuit that switches and switches to the battery power. Well, an online UPS works very, very differently. It actually takes the incoming AC signal, filters it, but then converts it to DC, to direct current. That system is used to leave a floating charge on a battery system. And then on the other end of it, there's an inverter that inverts it from DC back to AC. So there's a magic process that goes on right there because you just disconnected yourself from the grid. You're no longer a part of all the chaos that's going on in your local neighborhood, or I don't care if you're in a commercial zone or a residential zone, there's chaos going on out there in the electricity world. And by using a true online UPS and that double conversion, you're converting the AC signal to DC and then back to AC. And the result, is, it's, it's like you're generating your own electricity in the studio. I bought one 15 years ago and it's been on 24 seven since. Now I've serviced it twice with new, I replaced the rechargeable batteries and actually the fan, it never needed it, but I just decided to replace the fan both times. Even with the initial investment and all of that, I've worked it out. It's been less than a hundred bucks a year for me to have that system in place. And I can't even begin to tell you the benefits that I've received from it. I mean. I've never had a failed hard drive, ever, ever, okay? So that's a big deal, you guys. I've had a lot of hard drives, okay? And I'm not saying I won't have one one day. Sometimes there's just no way around it. So I'm just saying, work towards getting yourself an online UPS, disconnect yourself from this chaotic grid, and listen to what happens to the sound of your studio and your productions. Wow. Well, thank you for sitting in on today's session. And I encourage you to please leave a comment or by all means, share a topic that we can do a whole session on. And if you like today's session, 
please consider subscribing to my channel.